Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn about services in Angular. So we're going to build a few components and we're going to have a service that will be injected into those components. And so we can access the data via the service. So we're going to have same data in multiple components. By the way, I'm going to split this video into two videos. So the first one, we're going to do a simple service. And the second one, we are going to change the data into one component and that will be reflected into the second component because we are sharing through service. So we're going to use rx.js and the subscriber. And also, this is a much larger series on Angular 5. So if you're not following it, you can do so. I'll provide a link to the playlist here. And welcome to Texas Tutorials. So we're going to quickly build a project using Angular CLI. So if I go to my command prompt and I would simply do ng new, the name of the project is going to be simple service. And that should build a project. Well, it should take a few minutes. All right. So the project is created. I need to still CD into it. So I'm going to say CD simple service. So I'm inside the project. Now I need to do two things. First, I need to create two components which is going to share this service and then I need to create a service. So I'm just going to do it in advance using CLI. It's very easy. You would say ng g c g for generate c for component and then I'm going to say components and one. So the component is going to be the folder. All right. It created it and then I'm going to create another one called two. All right. And then I'm going to create a service. So I'm just going to say ng g service and the name of the service going to be but it should be inside a folder so service slash it's going to be user service so we're going to say user all right so it has created two components and a service if i use atom dot i'm using atom you can use whichever editor you like all right so in the source file i have app and i have it created two things components one and two and a service now remember components are automatically added to app module uh, so i can see it's imported here one component two component and it they are declared as well however a service the user service that i created it's not imported here so we need to manually import it here so i would say import um, let's say what's the name of the service if i go to user service this is what it's exporting so i'm going to say user service from so from um, it's inside the service folder slash user dot service ah, should be slash here and I also need to, because it's a service, it should be inside a provider. So inside the provider, I should also set up the property of it in the ng module. All right, so now the first thing we're gonna do, we, we have the two components that we need to add to the app component. So go to app component and delete all the garbage that is here. Now let's look at what are these two components so the component one it's called app one so what i'm going to do is in the app component.html i'm going to add two components and then i'm assuming the second one is app two all right so now i'm just going to run this so here for the command line i'm going to say ng serve dash dash open dash dash i always like to provide a port it's going to say 5000 so it opens in a 5000 port and doesn't open on the the 4200 port which is default all right so it says one works and two works it is because in the component one i have html one works and the component two similarly i have two works which I will remove in time. But now let's go to the component one first. 
and here we need to import the, ser the same service here so I need to do this import uh, user service from and it's going to be service slash user dot service oh actually it, it will be double dot because we are inside the one and the component so it should go to two level up and one level down and the second thing we need to do is because it's a service we need to we need to inject through com, uh, constructor so in the constructor we can say private uh, user service as user service all right and again in the in the constructor there is not much going on now let's look at the service now we need to add something to the service so that we have some data here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an array of users here so I'm gonna say users and it's going to be type uh, string and its value it's going to be Jill and Peter all right and I can also have another method so the method I want to have is also very simple so the method's name is get first user and so what it's gonna do is um, just gonna find the first user from this uh, users object and return it so we'll just say uh, return this this dot users zero now usually you don't hard code anything like this usually you would have some sort of uh, Ajax call that or promises that loads the data from the server side or something and then you would you know or you could have some hard coded as well if if there are some constants or something I don't know but uh, ultimately you will have some data and then you can access it to into your component because you're injecting the service so you can directly access it so if I go back to my component one because I have this user service in the on ng on init here I can well first let's create a, a variable here called user type string and I can say that user equal to this dot now I'm going to access this service user service that I injected and remember this user service has a string users so I have access to it and I also have access to this get first users uh, user method so I'm not going to access the user but I'm just going to say get first user here so I'm going to say this this dot user service dot get first user and so that would give me the user which is this well this I have to also say this dot user all right now I have this user but I need to display it somewhere so in the one component I would simply say here um, one and then user similarly I can do same thing in the two so if I can go here and copy the service into two so the same service has been injected here and I can just literally copy this stuff into two since it's the same thing alright so I have the and it, will, it can have the same variable called user inside this and the component here I can copy and do this instead of one I can say two all right so now it's time to look at what it really renders all right I can see that it already renders um, one and two and then they both are 
giving me John. And I can also print the array. Remember in the services, I have the, the users array. So in the component one, I can do this. I can say um, user service and dot users. And do the same thing in component two, and it should work the same way. Well, John is showing two times you could because I have user and then it's showing the so first user and then all the users. So that's why it's uh, duplicate. All right, so this is how you share data using services. Easy peasy, right? Okay, so the second video, which you can follow it right after this, uh, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I can change, I can have some input box here. And if I change the, let's say, add another value into this array or change the username or something like that, and it should reflect into two also which right now it won't work. Once you uh, inject it, uh, it would not basically, if I change the data into from one, it would not reflect into the second. So we need to do that. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please take a few seconds of your life and like the video and provide a nice comment. Thank you.